Thanks for staying. This is what we're here for, right here. So these are awards uh, that myself and Mr. Joseph Drust uh, design. So we want to switch to uh, the projector to the computer, if you can, please. So this is the foundry that did this for us. So we had this, we obviously did everything inside of ZBrush. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> okay, and then we sent these to Gentle Giant. They 3D printed it, and we sent it to them deep in the heart foundry. They are located in Texas. So I just want to quickly share their website for you guys so you can see the, their work. These are heavy things, man. These are legit awards. That's how we go, man. All right, so next slide. So we wanted to share just some process, some things of what they're doing. This is actually the making of the award, and you can see uh, what they're doing at the foundry. Go ahead, next slide. You can just cycle through the slides. So you can kind of get an idea of what you maybe, as a ZBrush artist, might want to do when you, if you want to do something like this, because you know bronze is forever, man. This is not going anywhere. So this is just giving you guys ideas of what's possible when you start using something like ZBrush with a something like this, a foundry of Deep in the Heart. You know, that's really cool. So you can see the names are being put on even after the fact, because when Joseph and I sent this, we didn't know the winners, so we had to have send them the blank award, and then they had to put all the names on at the foundry, because we had to get, it's a process. It doesn't take like a week to do. It takes months to do or a month to do, but we had to get the molds done of the awards first, which they did a waxing of them, and you can see, and then they're doing all the names on there. So we wanted to make sure that you guys understood there is other processes out there. There's other things you use ZBrush. You can see the kind of work they do. They really, really huge, large scale stuff as well. So <clears throat> they're known, really known for this. Keep going. So there's a couple here we wanted to share with you. There you go. So go ahead. Some more of their work that you have. Keep going through. So that's a pretty cool, that's a ring monument they put up in Texas, of course, or Tejas, if I like to say it sometimes, All right? So I just wanted to make sure you share it, stop there. So they have decided to give you guys a discount. So if you did want to get something like this done or something maybe small or something larger, especially the lady that won the 27-inch Cintiq, you could sell that, get a, get a bronze. Okay, so here's a coupon code for you that'll be good for the rest of the year, 2016 that you guys can use. So if you want to get that coupon code, the PIX2016, that'll get you 10% off, okay? So I want to, again, just thank the Deep in the Heart Foundry for helping us making that. I also want to thank, obviously, Gentle Giant for doing the prints. I want to take this one moment, too, and thank the rest of these prizes we're giving away, obviously the Noman Space that we're using. We have many companies helping us and involved with this. So I just want to make sure that all of them are recognized. And I just lost my little thing with all the stuff on it. Uh, now it's not pulling up for me. So I'll come back to that. Let's just go to the awards. OK, so awards, please, sir. So what are we starting with? Image of the year. Give me a minute. I got to find it. I got to find it. I got to find it. I have it. I have it. I have it right here. So. Who do we have as non nominees this year, my friend? Here are your nominees for image of the year, right? So again, these are images that you, the community, voted on on ZBrush Central. So you can even be voting right now for next year's nominees. So all you got to do is go on ZBrush Central. If there's an image you like, you literally hit the vote in the bottom left corner. There you go. And that's how they get the numbers that they are. So our winner for image of the year, fancy to this year, Melissa did a great job on these. Thanks, Melissa, if you're here. If you're not, all right. All right, so the winner of Image of the Year with a black screen. What happened? Never fails. Never fails. Looks good. Press space bar, go ahead. There is your winner. Alexi, Alexi, so 
Would you like to say anything quickly? Yeah. I have just, just one question. Is this all real? <laughs> because I, I have a feeling like it's a miracle. You know? I, I want to say thanks to all American country. It was so kind for, to me. And I want to say thank you to all people who helped to make it happen. And thanks to Pixelogic. Thank you guys for supporting me online. It's on. It's, it's on. It's on. It's on. All right. And his image that he just won for is in the gallery tonight. All right. Go ahead, Spacebar. What's next? Oh, Sculpt of the Year. There's a little animation, so that's why there was black screen there. Sculpt of the Year. Sculpt of the Year. Sculpt of the Year. Who are our nominees? Mr. Dress, go ahead. Hit that wonderful Spacebar. Let's find out who our nominees are. Here you go. There are your nominees. Here are the images that are up for Sculpt of the Year. Here's the award. Here is our little tag. And the winner is, go ahead, Mr. Dress. Hussein Dibai. Yeah. He's not here, so Jaime's just going to take it and put it in his office. <laughs> Sorry, Hussein, no. We'll have it for you. We'll ship it out to you, Hussein. We will absolutely send you everything and reach out to you so we can get that. All right, next award, please, sir. Oh, 3D print of the year. Let me get that one. Let me get that. Yeah, I got it right here. All right, who's our nominees, sir? Who do we have as nominees? Oh, yes. Here are a, a nominees for our 3D print of the year. We have Daniel won last year, actually, for this exact same category for last year. So let's see who won this year. Ready? Go ahead, sir. Reveal. Daniel's not here, but Jaime again, just going to keep it in his office. No problem. Daniel, if you're not here next year and you win, I'm taking it, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, here's your award again. So congratulations, Daniel. Very nice. Very nice. All right, next award, please, sir. Uh, top row post of the year. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Got it right here. Got it right here. All right. Here is your top row post of the year. Who are our nominees, sir? Who do we have as our nominees? Hussein is up, you got Disney, and you got Darius. Who won this? Wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Well, let, me, let me do the Band-Aid tear, would you? Jeez, oh, Pete. Well, I'm sorry, whoever won this, I just made a bad thing about that tear. Ready, sir? Go ahead. Reveal. Disney animation. Would you like to say anything, sir, Zach? Yes. Zach's here for Disney Animation. You might have recognized him. Thank you guys so much. This is absolutely amazing. What, a, what an incredible thing you've created here for our community, for all of us as artists. This is absolutely incredible. And thank you guys very much. Thank you, everyone at home who voted. And this is for the team. Thank you. Do you want this? All right, what's up next, Mr. Druss? Studio thread of the year. I got it right here. I got it right here. All right. I'm using L1, Michael, by the way. Okay, so go ahead, show me your nominees. Who do you have? Oh, we've got Naughty Dog. We've got Disney Animation, and we got The Mill. So two of our presenters from this year and a presenter from last year. So let's see who we have as our lucky winner. These are awesome, Melissa, by the way, if you're back in here still. All right, ready, sir? Go ahead, reveal, please. Disney animation again. There's your tag. There's your 
Do you want to say something again? Uh, yeah, well, I did, actually, I want to say thank you to The Mill and to Naughty Dog. Your guys' posts were amazing, and it was awesome to be in the same category with you. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for being here. All right, congratulations to Disney. Okay, Game Art of the Year. Oh, boy. Here we go. I got it. I got it. It's right here. It's right here. I'm put it right there. Who do we have as our nominees, my friend, Mr. Joseph Druss? You've got Blizzard Entertainment, Naughty Dog, and Ubisoft. So obviously some great AAA studios, again. Some presenters, two, again, that were presenters this year's ZBrush Summit. And also Ubisoft has been a presenter here at last year's Summit. So let's see who our winner is for Game Art of the Year. Go ahead, Mr. Dress. Go ahead and reveal. Naughty Dog. Right? Anybody from Naughty Dog here, come on up. Would, would you guys like to say anything at all? Congratulations, 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 sir. You have to put the microwave kind of slow. Sure. It's amazing to get this award, and it's all teamwork. We're only here to present the studio, and all the hard work is from the studio. Like a lot of people put their heart into this game, uh, and the result shows. So. Oh man, I have nothing to say. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. That's it's really awesome uh, to be even nominated, and um, yeah, the studio is, you know, does amazing work, and it's awesome to be a part of the team. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Dress, I know what's up next. Film art, film art, film art. Ah. Film art of the year. Who do we have as our nominees this year? Again, these are all voted by you on ZBrush Central, so make sure you're voting this year. We got, again, The Mill, Ben Moreau, and Disney Animation again. So let's see who we have as our winner. And we're tearing and we're moving. And our winner is, go ahead, sir. Disney Animation. Just racking up the hardware. Anything else you want to add? I just, well, thank you. Thank you guys very much. Everyone who voted, we genuinely appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and our final award is something that we as Pixelogic, yeah, go ahead, sir, hit the slide, and then now it's done. Go ahead. I don't think you, did you put anything, Kingsley? Okay, go. Kingsley. All right, so anyways, this award is something that we uh, as a company uh, fig feel that, hey, there are people out there, like many of you even in the audience, that are influencing each other, influencing the community. So this is a member of our community that we, we feel is very out there and making sure they're involved in our community, making sure you know, they're sharing things, they're coming, doing presentations, they're, they're a person that we all look to for maybe inspiration and things like that. So last year's winner was Rick Baker, right? So this year's, is he here? Is he, is he here? He's here, right? Where is, is he in here? Are you in here? before I reveal? I hope so. So this is our ZBrush Honorary Award, sir. Thanks for being here. You. Would you like a mic for anything, sir? You don't want to give me a mic. Um, well, thank you, ZBrush in particular. What's amazing is when a piece of software can change your life. Not necessarily for the better. I've been <laughs> sitting at my computer now so much more as a result. But something else that ZBrush has done, it's uh, pretty incredible, much like Noman uh, with Alex Alvarez, and that is you've created a community. And we are all, and I'll speak for myself, the byproducts of that community. Whatever art I create, 
whatever topics I teach, it is a direct result of being a member of this community. It's a little humbling. No, it's actually not a little. It's a lot humbling. One, to receive this award, which I'm hoping, Zach, you can take home because you've got <laughs> clearly the burden of it all. You must have a big car. But it, it's, a, it's an overwhelming honor to receive any attention whatsoever. Um, and I've been very fortunate to get attention in various areas, and I've traveled throughout the world doing workshops. This means a tremendous amount to me because it comes from people that I've known since almost the beginning of ZBrush when you had your angler fish. That was quite a while ago. I don't know if you guys remember. Any old timers out there who uh, saw the angler fish and thought there's, there's no way this product is going to work? Um, I also thought that Photoshop and the Wacom tablet would never work as well, so <laughs> I don't judge anymore. Just know that we as artists, we as this community, it's all about sharing. It's all about unveiling, pulling back the curtain of whatever secrets you think you have. Because we don't have secrets, we should not have secrets. If there are any secrets, I think Ofer has them all because he, he sits behind the curtain like uh, the Wizard of Oz. <clears throat> Is Ofer here? And for any of you who've spent enough time in ZBrush, it does not matter what religion you are, Ofer happens to be our Lord and Savior. <laughs> it's kind of true. If you do this kind of work, I really have to thank Ofer. I don't know where you are in the audience, but you know, thank you so much for your genius. Jaime, thank you so much for how you have created such an incredible company with Ofer. And Paul, thank you so much for taking my texts at ridiculous hours while you're on vacation and answering my questions, which are far too many. Um, and, and thank you guys for all of the amazing artwork that I'm seeing from The Mill, from Disney, from Zach in particular. Um, you were one of my teachers way back when, unbeknownst to you. Um, I'm so grateful for who I have become today as an artist, and I feel like I'm just beginning. The more I see the less I know, and it's exciting. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.